Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I have the Spellbinders Club Kit for August 2023 and I don't get all of the Club Kits but I will share with you the ones that I am lucky enough to craft with. I do also get the Card Kit of the Month. I'm not going to include that in this unboxing. I actually have a separate video showing all of the contents of that. So uh, that'll be in a follow-up video separate from this. First up is the 3D embossing folder of the month, which I always love. This one's great for um, a lot of just general purpose crafting because it's just lovely florals. So I love that. I feel like this one you can use in any direction. That's one of the first things I always look for is whether or not the pattern of the embossing is directional because if it's not directional, what you can do is you can emboss um, up to five and a half by eight and a half. So this is US letter and I can emboss, uh, cut that in half, emboss half a sheet just like that. And then I can cut that in half and have two panels for two cards. That only works though if it's actually a pattern that doesn't have, you know, an actual direction to it, which I feel like this one doesn't. I, I think you can use this in, in any, uh, rotation. So I love, I love when it works out that way. So that's the 3D embossing folder of the month. And then we have, the glimmer of the month. Look how big that is. That is a very large glimmer. And there's a sentiment that says, hope uh, all is well with you. Oh, that's so lovely. This is gorgeous. Um, there is an add-on stencil set that you can get with this. So, you know, one of the things that's really great about how Spellbinders does their, um, layered stencils is they do, they do have, it's hard to, I think, yeah, there you can see, there is that registration mark in that corner there. So it just kind of shows you, um, how to get these lined up. But this does look like you can stencil, um, let's see, how does this fit? Yep. Oh, that's lovely. So you can get different, um, areas through each of these stencils. So that's really cool. The hardest part might just be, you know, figuring out how, how everything lines up. <laughs> the one thing that I kind of, oh, they, they do have it. That's, that's what I thought. See in this corner, there's the number three. So that tells you, um, which way, you know, should be up <laughs> when you're going to line this up. Oh, cause remember this, when it glimmers, it's going to glimmer like that. So, uh, you have one and then you have the various different numbers that lets you know, uh, or at least suggest an order for actually stenciling these. So that's really lovely. See how this one stencil will get three of the petals for that flower. And then the second stencil picks up the other three. Same with that. Um, and the areas of the leaves that aren't colored by this will get picked up and colored by that second layer. So combine these two will fill out your florals and some of the leaves. And then the third one looks like it covers the centers of the flowers through those little areas there. And as well, some of the uh, details for these little um, buds. And then we have some small leaves and stems. So that's really cool. 
I'm really enjoying these layered stencils and I uh, I really love that Christmas set that <laughs> that came out not too long ago and they work beautifully. Uh, Yana's collection, I loved how she designed her matching or coordinating stencils because it was very, it wasn't like completely colored in. It had a very like artsy look to it, which I really liked. So I'll, I'm going to be curious to see. I think these match up pretty well, but we'll see. Then I also have the clear stamp of the month and the florals here really resemble, this is what I love about Spellbinders, if you do get everything, they all work, to, work so well together. So you can see how the shape of the flower really resembles uh, the shape of the flower on the uh, stamp of the month as well. And the sentiments here are really great a little message to say sending a happy hello thank you friend and oh we have hope all is well with you so that looks to be the same font as the glimmered and so then i'm curious because that is going to have a die if you want you can get the coordinating dies with the clear stamp of the month and this one looks like it is the matching die for this. Yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna be. I'm curious to to know if this is going to fit. Oh no. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been great if this die worked uh, to cut that out, <laughs> because I don't think unless I missed it. I don't think. Yeah, there's no coordinating dies um, with the glimmer, so it would have been so cool if this if this die worked. But it's a different it's a different size. It's slightly too small, but this is really cool. The coordinating die for the stamp though is a border die, so. You can do some really cool effects with dies like these because you can do like a shaped border. Um, so let's see, this would go like that. So you can put your shaped border on the right hand edge or on the left hand edge. If you put the two together, I don't know if you'll you're going to want to, uh, you probably could tape them together. You can cut it fully all the way around, is my guess. Uh, you might have like a little bit, you know, right in the center where they meet up where you have to snip a little bit, but I, I actually really love when they do stuff like this because it just means that you can get different looks more easily. Not that if it was a full outline, you could do the same thing. It's just a little bit easier when you don't have to worry about doing the partial die cutting. So, um, to get that shaped border effect when they, when they break out the, the, uh, outline dies like this. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, that's really cool. Okay. Love that. That is the clear stamp of the month, which you have the option to get the coordinating dies with it. I, I would totally get it. Um, if, if you don't normally get the coordinating dies, it feels like it's worth it just for the, um, just for that option of doing the shaped border. This is the small die of the month and to look at it, it might look a little bit confusing as to what's going on, but I did see the, um, uh, promotional flyer for it and it is the this is a dress of a um woman she's got her two arms kind of bent as if she's holding onto the the chain of a of a swing so imagine her sitting on a um on a swing set and so she's going to be holding on to the sides there. We have her, um, her legs, her hands, her head and face. Then you have this piece is her hair where you can build, um, kind of her, her face, uh, tuck her head and face into that. 
And then there's some flowers and foliage that you can add to a hat. And it's got the hello. This is very reminiscent of, do you remember the, the woman who was sitting on a beach, I think? And she had the same sort of sun hat with the hello that you could die cut into it as well. And it was more her from behind. That's what I remember. Uh, the, I'm gonna have to compare, see how her, um, the scale of this of this looks compared to her. But it's very reminiscent of that. That's lovely. That's gonna be a fun one to to craft with. Then I also have the large die of the month, and this is so interesting. I've um. I've not seen this before. It's actually a pomegranate, the pomegranate fruit. And you have this lovely, it's very large, this lovely branch, which you could actually think of these as, um, I normally see them as like an orange branch, which you could probably turn it into that if you wanted. But this right here gives you all of the texture and um, all of that lovely detailing of a pomegranate fruit. And then you have the, um, like a debus, uh, I don't know if this is debus or if it's just cut in, uh, but the sentiment thinks with a, a little um, border die sentiment plate to go with it. And then some more uh, blossoms and flowers and leaves to layer onto that tree. So really, really lovely. Beautiful, beautiful set. Very fun. So I'm very excited to craft with this. And lately what I've been doing is um, pushing out my flip video first and then my unboxing video because um, Club Kit membership opens up on the fifth of the month and it runs until um, I think the 28th of the month and so this video I'm instead of releasing it on the first of the month I'll start to release these closer to when you can actually sign up for the club kits just so that you can see um, a nicer up close look at each of the sets and so I should already have my flip video out where I craft with some of these goodies and I make at least one flat one layered one interactive and one pop-up card with this month's club kit so I'll link to that video at the end of this one and as always all of my videos where I feature Spellbinders products will all be on my Spellbinders playlist, which is also going to be at the end of this video if you want to check that out. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!